Stig. I hope you're just doing this to troll people and that you're not really this stupid. Okay, Stig, you're asking for this. This is possibly the worst straw man in history. All atheists posit what is called a universal negative. You mean that all atheists say that God does not exist, period, for fact. You know this is wrong, so you also know that this is a straw man, and you're still using this. You're despicable, man. So let's examine this argument. You're trying to say that the person who says that the building is not empty because he has been in one room and he knows that he is there, and you are trying to use this as the side of theism. How? How exactly does this claim have anything to do with the claim made by theism? Let me try to make this closer to reality when it comes to being descriptive of theism and atheism. The atheist will be in one room out of the four rooms in a building and say, I have no clue whether or not there are other people in the other rooms. All I know is that I am here alone in this room. There could be multiple people in each other room or there could be no other people in any of the rooms. There could be furniture in other rooms and they could be completely empty. I simply cannot know. The only way I can know is if I leave the room, if I see the people, if I hear them talking with my own ears, not inside my head, I mean. If they knock on the wall or something to let me know that they're there. If somehow the walls are see-through and I can observe them, then I'll know that they're there. So, I am not going to say whether the other rooms are, are occupied or not because I simply do not know. While the theist will find this 2,000 year old pamphlet in his room that describes this tentacled boogeyman that can shoot laser beams out of his rectum and believe that it exists simply because he found this super old stupid manuscript that tells him that that monster does exist. So he's going to assume that there is that stupid monster in another room. Now if that was the example I would probably say it's a good one. If an atheist would assert that there is absolutely no God, that God absolutely does not exist, then you're right. They have no um, omniscient knowledge that lets them know that God doesn't exist, because God is supposed to exist in another realm of existence which we cannot observe conveniently. So, obviously what we can't observe, we can't make judgment about. We can't say God doesn't exist because we don't know that. But we can say that there's no reason to think that God exists. That makes perfect sense, though. But on the other hand, you are also making a universal positive claim here. You're saying that God exists. And not any God, but the God of the Christian Bible. Which is... Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God all combined. So, 
are you omniscient that you can know this for certain, or are you just relying on a book? But this is a conclusion that follows from a straw man argument. The straw man being that all atheists say that God does not exist. When in fact atheists say that we have no idea if God exists or not. And you're talking about absolute knowledge of, of things. You should be ashamed of yourself, man. You know that atheists are the first to admit that we don't know something. It, 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 the humility in admitting that you don't know something is, I think, admirable. You should learn from atheists. I mean, admitting that you don't know something is being humble. Saying that you know for a fact that God exists is kind of cocky. And also, you point out that faith is something negative because you're trying to make fun of atheism for relying on faith. Now, after explaining to you, even though it's not really an explanation because you already know all this, that atheism doesn't require any faith because we're not making any assertions. But it's just funny that you use faith to attack atheism when your entire world view is based on faith. That's what we call self-ponage. Now, just on a side note, I personally believe that gods do not exist. I don't know that God doesn't exist, or that gods don't exist, but I believe that gods don't exist. Because I can't think of a natural mechanism that would cause gods to begin existing. That's why I do not believe they exist. Or more like, I believe that gods don't exist. But, do I know this? Do I assert this as a fact? Nope. I admit that it's a personal belief of mine. And I'm an atheist that's admitting that he believes that God doesn't exist. This requires faith. I admit. But, I do not believe in any gods. That I have plenty of reasons to. Because there's no evidence that any god exists, so why would I believe in any particular one? And to be even more specific, if you are to say that the Bible is the word of God, then I am saying, asserting, that your god does not exist. But... As a premise for your God's existence is the Bible being the Word of God. Now, in the Bible, it says that the person who has written the, the Pentateuch was Moses. But we know that this is false. We know that the Bible has a lot of different sources, each writing his own segment, and later on it was all put together and Moses got the credit for it, Moses being probably a fictional character, seeing as the Exodus has no historical evidence for happening, not even historical likelihood for happening. Now, given these facts, it seems likely that your God does not exist, and it requires no faith to say that your God does not exist. So. In summary, your God does not exist. A God might exist, I don't know, but I believe that they don't.